Bitcoin. The name is on the tip of everyone's tongues, whether they fully grasp the technology or not. But amidst the buzzwords, the hype, and those wild price swings, there's a fascinating concept that drives Bitcoin's inner workings. Bitcoin halving. Think of it as a programmed economic reset button. A mechanism intentionally designed by the mysterious Satoshi Nakamoto. Every four years or so, the reward for those powerful computers that verify Bitcoin transactions is slashed in half. This built-in scarcity mechanism is a key part of what sets Bitcoin apart. It adds a level of predictability and control to its supply, potentially making it more valuable over time. But the question lingers. Is halving the key that unlocks Bitcoin's full potential? Or just another intriguing piece of a very complex puzzle? That's a debate captivating investors, tech experts, and economists alike. So grab a seat and buckle up, because we're about to dive headfirst into the fascinating world of Bitcoin halving. What is Bitcoin halving? Bitcoin, at its core, is a digital ledger of transactions called a blockchain. Imagine a giant public spreadsheet that anyone can access, a permanent and transparent record of every transaction. Whether you're buying a coffee with Bitcoin or trading complex assets on specialized crypto exchanges, each interaction gets etched onto this ledger for all to see. But how do we ensure these transactions are legitimate and keep the whole system secure and trustworthy? That's where miners come in. Think of them as the backbone of the Bitcoin network. Miners are essentially powerful computers. Think high-performance gaming rigs turned up to 11, specifically designed to solve mind-bendingly complex mathematical puzzles. Cracking these puzzles is incredibly difficult and requires immense amounts of computing power. The first lucky miner to find the solution wins the prize newly minted Bitcoins. This process serves two key purposes. Firstly, it validates new transactions, ensuring no one's double spending. Secondly, it secures the entire Bitcoin network, making it incredibly difficult to tamper with. Now, here's where it gets really interesting. This reward for miners gets cut in half roughly every four years. That's Bitcoin halving, an ingenious mechanism designed to control the release of new Bitcoins into the world, gradually slowing the pace until that ultimate limit of 21 million is reached. This built-in scarcity contributes to Bitcoin's value. But it's not just about the tech. Bitcoin's decentralized nature removes the need for banks or those middlemen, promising greater financial freedom, especially in regions where traditional systems are less reliable. While its price can be volatile, Bitcoin has ignited a revolution in digital finance, prompting the creation of countless other cryptocurrencies and inspiring new ways to think about money and value in our increasingly digital world. The magic of halving. Now, here's where things get interesting. Bitcoin's mysterious creator, Satoshi Nakamoto, designed a brilliant system to control the release of Bitcoin. It's called Bitcoin halving. Essentially, every 210,000 blocks, about every four years, the reward for miners gets cut in half. Think of it like this. Imagine you're a gold miner in the Wild West. When you first strike gold, there's a huge nugget waiting for you. 50 Bitcoin block reward in Bitcoin's early days. But as time goes on and more gold is extracted, the nuggets become smaller. Reward gets halved. By 2024, you're finding much smaller pieces. 6.25 Bitcoin block reward, but the gold is still valuable. This halving process keeps Bitcoin scarce and valuable over time. It's also part of what makes Bitcoin resistant to inflation. No one can simply print more to devalue existing coins. Why does halving happen? Let's talk scarcity. Bitcoin, like gold, has a limited supply. Only 21 million Bitcoins can ever exist. Halving is Satoshi Nakamoto's brilliant way to control how fast new Bitcoins enter the market, ensuring this limit is reached gradually. This built-in scarcity mechanism is a major reason why some believe Bitcoin holds value. Think of it like this. If diamonds were as common as pebbles, would they be considered precious? Of course not. Their rarity is a significant part of their appeal. Bitcoin's limited supply, gradually released through halvings, could make it more valuable over time, especially if demand continues to grow. Imagine if you flooded the market with endless Bitcoins. Just like with any commodity, if the supply becomes overly abundant, the value of each individual unit naturally decreases. This is where the concept of inflation comes in. 
With traditional currencies, governments can print more money, potentially leading to devaluation. Bitcoin's halving mechanism, however, combats this risk. This potential resistance to inflation further highlights why the halving mechanism is often discussed as a key part of Bitcoin's design. It aims to protect the value of existing Bitcoins, while controlling the pace at which new ones enter circulation. While the price of Bitcoin may fluctuate, this inbuilt scarcity, combined with growing interest and use cases, presents the possibility of Bitcoin becoming a valuable digital asset in the long term. A kind of digital gold for a new age. The impact of Bitcoin halving. Okay, buckle up, because this is where things get really interesting. Historically, Bitcoin halvings often lead to a surge in price. Why? Let's dive into the classic economic dance of supply and demand. Imagine Bitcoin's new coin creation as a faucet pouring into the market. When halving cuts that supply in half, it's like turning down the tap significantly. Now, if the desire to own Bitcoin remains the same, or even grows, fueled by factors like increased media attention or institutional adoption, we have a potential recipe for a price explosion. Think of it like having a concert with a limited number of tickets. If the artist's popularity suddenly spikes, but the number of tickets stays the same, basic economics suggests the price of those tickets will likely skyrocket due to the increased demand. However, the crypto market is a wild beast, and Bitcoin's price movements are anything but predictable. Factors beyond simple supply and demand can play a chaotic role. Global economic trends like recessions or periods of high inflation can influence investor risk tolerance and impact Bitcoin's price. Regulations by governments around the world can also create uncertainty, leading to price fluctuations. And let's not forget plain old investor sentiment. Sometimes all it takes is a negative tweet from a celebrity to spook the market and cause a price dip. So, while halvings can be a catalyst for price increases, it's important to remember they're just one piece of the complex puzzle that is Bitcoin's price movement. Past halvings, Bitcoin halving isn't just theory. We've had several since its creation in 2009, and history paints a fascinating, if not entirely predictable, picture. While halvings don't guarantee immediate price jumps, they've often been followed by periods of significant growth, adding fuel to the arguments about Bitcoin's potential. For instance, after the first halving in 2012, Bitcoin's price steadily increased over the following year. The second halving in 2016 ignited a major bull run, ultimately propelling Bitcoin into mainstream conversations. The most recent 2020 halving also saw a surge, though it's important to remember that broader factors, like the COVID-19 pandemic's economic impact, also played a significant role in market behavior. Each halving is a unique event, influenced by circumstances like growing mainstream adoption, evolving regulations, and overall investor sentiment. The million Bitcoin question remains. Will this historical trend of post-halving price increases continue? Or does the future hold a different story for Bitcoin? Will its limited supply truly drive value in the long run? Or will other technological advancements or market shifts usurp its potential? Only time will tell. The road ahead, halvings keep happening until we hit that 21 million Bitcoin limit. A moment projected to happen sometime around the year 2140. That's when the supply of new Bitcoins officially dries up, and miners will have to rely solely on transaction fees for their reward. But what does this milestone mean for Bitcoin's value? Well, that's where things get incredibly fascinating, and the crystal balls start to get a little foggy. Some experts passionately believe that with its hard cap, Bitcoin could become incredibly scarce, driving its value to unprecedented heights. Imagine a world where every single Bitcoin has been mined. The allure of absolute scarcity could send demand soaring. Others argue that factors like mainstream adoption, government regulations, and the rise of competing cryptocurrencies will have a far greater impact on Bitcoin's price trajectory. This ongoing debate fuels the crypto community, sparking passionate arguments on both sides of the coin. Will Bitcoin's finite nature cement its status as a legendary store of value? Or will other market dynamics knock it off its pedestal? Only time will reveal the answer. The year 2140 looms large as a potential watershed moment for Bitcoin. Will this fixed supply become its key strength? Or will market forces and technological advancements rewrite the rules of the game? The uncertainty itself is thrilling and adds an extra layer of intrigue to the already fascinating world of Bitcoin. And there you have it, Bitcoin halving.
a cornerstone of Bitcoin's design. It's about scarcity, controlled supply, and a whole lot of speculation for the future. Did this video clear things up? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're hungry for more crypto knowledge, hit that subscribe button.